Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the channel. I'm the Shotgun Shogun and this is another episode of The Training Grounds. Now, I know a lot of people are worried about the upcoming evasion units and the shift potentially to an evasion meta. You have units like MRSA, Arbiter Violet, I mean Moonlight Violet, Selene, Fat Cat coming into play and a lot more people are going to be building them and as everybody already knows, Moonlight Dreamblade, Arbiter Vildred suck. So I wanted to give you guys a couple of tips about how to counter the evasion meta that may be coming now before that i would like to point out if you guys do like this content please like subscribe comment down below because it really does help me beat the youtube algorithm additionally i know i don't typically do this at the end at the beginning but i also have a patreon that does help out quite a bit with the channel as well as doing a lot of other things but with that said let's get into the actual meat of the video so first off, we're going to talk about evasion. Now, Mercer is probably one of the worst ones, and a lot of people already know about Moonlight Dreamblade. You also have Violet's Talisman, which can increase evasion as well. Now, not only will these tips help you against these evasion units, but these will also potentially help you against anybody who actively blinds. Take Arbiter Vildred, for example. So first off, I'm going to go over the artifacts that are going to be able to help you counter this meta now we're going to come in here we're going to come down to common and this one's going to be the big one and this one's going to be one that i have touted for quite a while and i think that everybody should build because well it's kind of easy to do because well it's a three star and you've probably gotten a bunch of these and maybe you've overlooked them definitely don't because this is going to increase your hit chance by 20 percent now if you do max this out that is enough to just straight up counter a moonlight dream blade or a fat cat passive these are very very important not only that but this will also help like i said against elemental disadvantage against blind so this will really really help you out and i definitely think that you should plus 30 one to two of these on your account if you are a pvp person now the next one is going to be let's come back up here and this one is if you were let's see where is it at mm -mm 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 -mm. was it actually was it mage only let me find it it is gonna it's gonna be spooky solaria stories and i probably just straight overlooked it because i do believe it is oh here it is it's the book okay so this one when you max it out you are going to get an extra five percent hit chance so that is going to be pretty decent now if you if you combine that with oath key that gives you 25 percent do i think that this one is the most important to stack eh, not really because plus 30 in it just for an extra five percent effectiveness and a five percent increased hit chance you're probably not going to run this so there's that um so now let's get into some of the units that you can use to bypass some of this evasion now the first one and i'm pretty sure a lot of people are already going to know this is going to be specialty change wand and now the reason being is that not only does her kit give her a lot of buffs against evasion units but she's going to put target onto units as well and this is going to give you a straight up 15 percent chance to hit now if you stack that with spooky solaria stories that's 20 percent if you put in an oath key that is going to be 40%. Now that's going to cut an evasion buff that gives 50% evasion down to only, well, 10% evasion. Now on her skills, she does have quite a few things that are going to bypass the evasion chance as well. That is, that is not where i wanted to go i need to go into awakening to look at her tree so the big thing with her too is that it's really easy to max her out because well she's a three star which requires no molagoras now let me find out where this is uh because i just i just go through all the time okay so this is going to make her in her weak shot increase hit chance 
um, by 40%. So that means this is going to bypass 40% evasion. So if you put an oath key on her, that's going to be 60%, meaning that you are going to be able to negate an evasion buff completely and 10% of a Moonlight Dream Blade. So this means that she is going to be hitting all the time. Now, this right here is going to do 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 uh, yeah here we go uh this is her s3 so this one right here increases her s3's hit chance by 70 percent that means that even through an evasion buff with a maxed out violet's talisman you're still going to be able to hit them now if you put an oath key on her that's going to completely negate not only an evasion buff and a Violet's Talisman, but it's also going to bypass the Fat Cat evasion that is on there as well. So this character right here is going to be super huge when it comes to people picking units like MRSA, ML Violet, Celine, Fat Cat, things like that, because not only does she have all of that in her kit, not only to mention if she just gets a target off on the unit, this is going to have an 85% chance chance to hit and that's really really big because that's a an evasion buff plus a fat cat buff plus um a moonlight dream blade so you're going to be able to get through 85 percent evasion uh so that is really really huge uh for getting past that now as you can see i have built her a little more on the tanky side uh she's really fast really tanky has a decent amount of effectiveness because a lot of the units that you're going to be hitting with evasion they don't stack effect resist meaning that you are going to be able to hit them with the target you're gonna be able to hit them with the debuffs and then you are going to go from there now one of the other units that a lot of people overlook who is also a three star is going to be captain rigorous and one of the things that is in Captain Rickerus's skill tree, let me find out where it's at here real quick. Uh, da, 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 that's stats. This is this. Uh, where is it? Okay, so here it is. So language rune, this is going to increase the hit chance of all allies by 5%. Now, just having him on the field is going to give you that extra little boost so that means that if you are running spooky solaria stories on him you're going to have 10 percent if you're running oath key that's going to be 30 percent meaning that if you put all of that together with sc wanda her s3 has a 100 percent chance to hit uh, that's without target so this is actually just a really interesting little thing that goes into his kit not only that but i think that captain rickerus is actually pretty pretty solid as a unit it. Uh, he has skill cooldown. He has speed increase. He can strip. He can stun. He can defense break. A lot of people kind of overlook him. I build him a little on the tanky, effective, speedy side with a memorandum. And he be zooming. He be zooming. Now, the other one, too, here is going to be will bet and that is going to be on her s3 ignore the gear she's just holding random stuff until i can skill her up now this one right here is going to increase her hit chance by 20 percent when using this skill it used to be on her exclusive equipment but now they just rolled it right into the kit itself meaning that if you do put an oath key on her she's going to have 40 percent chance that means that you only have a 10 percent chance against an evasion buff but let's be real if you don't have a hundred percent chance it might as will be a zero percent chance right so she is going to be probably pretty prevalent once more evasion units more evasion gets brought into the meta but this alone will bypass a moonlight dream blade it'll bypass a non-moonlight dream blade with a fat cat on the team it will do a lot of stuff right here if they do run an uh if you do run an oath key on there that will bypass a moonlight dream blade and the fat cat buff uh for those of you who don't know what fat cat is it's assassin cartuja who gives 15 percent evasion to everybody on the team now it will not none of these will bypass assassin cartuja's uh passive which gives him a 100 percent chance to evade after he takes it, uh, an attack it's just not possible because it it's just built in that way there's no checks or anything along those lines uh, as far as i'm aware if somebody wants to prove me wrong go for it uh so i do think that those are some units i i may be missing some stuff here if i am and there are other ways besides target the units mentioned and the artifacts mentioned please let me know because i actually 
think that that's it i might be over like i might be missing something uh so that would be really cool to have you guys let me know um but as always like i said in the beginning if you guys do like this subscribe share this out you guys help sharing this out really helps me beat the youtube algorithm and it also helps beat some of the misinformation and the lack of um, diversity and builds in the community. I like to do these because I like to show people alternatives to things and kind of change up the way that they think about how the game works. But anyways, guys, I'm going to cut out of here. I hope that this did help you and I will catch you guys on the next training grounds. Take it easy, homies. Peace. Thank you.